I am the great and powerful G-Wiz. Okay. So the demonstrations when I visit a school, my primary goal is to come away with having the, the kids in the audience say, wow, it looks like science and chemistry is really exciting. If they go away saying science and chemistry are exciting instead of saying, ooh, it's, it's nerdy, it's difficult, uh, I don't want to do that, then, then I think I've succeeded. So here's how my spell goes. Medulla oblongata. That's a part of the brain. Et echinodermata. That's the kind of animals starfish and sea urchins are. Chiliana cheese enchilada. That's what you could have had for supper instead of baked potatoes. Help gee whiz freeze this water. And then I snap my fingers and say, freeze. See, the ice is starting to form. And in just a few more seconds, frost will climb up the side of the flask. This is totally solid. The very first thing I do is also try to teach them that if you want to be a scientist, you have to have, to have the courage to be wrong. And you're not going to guess it right the first time. I do my ink trick and I have have the trick designed so that I can get people to make wrong guesses most of the time. So we'll try this, we'll pour them together, and then say the spell. When east is east, and west is west, and one flies over a cuckoo's nest. When red is red, and pink is pink, make this water black as ink. And then I rub with my fingers real hard, and it turns into ink. See, it's a simple, It's just a simple spell. The good scientist is the one who doesn't let one setback or two setbacks or 10 setbacks stop them from pursuing finding out the answer. So if you think you're, uh, you're not uh, real smart in the classroom, that doesn't say you're not gonna be successful as a scientific researcher. One of my first couple PhDs from the University of Montana was very mediocre in the classroom, and yet he, he came up with my first big research breakthrough here at the University of Montana because he wasn't afraid to have it not work the first time. We, we need a lot of different talents in science, and just being good with numbers and taking a test, that's, that's just a small part of it. The Magic School Bus, which is a National Science Foundation underwritten program, has Miss Frizzle. And what does she say? Take chances, make mistakes. That's what she's talking about when she says that. <laughs>